Hey, everybody. Been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, I haven't seen y'all in a very long time. You haven't seen me in a very long time, either. Uh, sorry. Got a hair in my eye. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, uh... But it has been forever since I have done go away hair. Since I have done a vlog of any sort, actually, a very long time since I've done any kind of video other than a music video that you know where I've shared certain new, uh, songs. But uh, I figured I really, really need to get. A video out to you guys whom I am very appreciative who have subscribed and who watch these videos and I've gotten some very encouraging comments lately about you know getting back to the Bible study videos and how they were really helpful for people and everything and they've been sharing the videos and everything so I really need to get back to that as well and I am deeply sorry that it has taken me so long that there has been this huge gap. Um, things have been just hectic like crazy. Uh, hopefully I can give you a quick update before, so that this video isn't like, you know, 30 minutes of update. Um, hopefully I can do more vlogs to keep y'all, you know, updated as to how things are going on, you know, maybe a weekly basis. But even better than that, hopefully I can, God willing, and prayerfully I will be able to get to the Bible study videos and get back to the scriptures taken from the notebooks like a, the notebook that I had mentioned a while back. Um, still plenty of uh, Bible to go through. But uh, it's been really, really kind of hectic uh, for me lately. I actually was blessed with a new job. Um, the Lord opened the door for me to become a district manager at a newspaper office, uh, not over journalism or anything like that, no, more along the lines of the business aspect of those who sell the paper and those who deliver the papers. And so I'm um, in that uh, job, and uh, it's taken a while to get to know how to do the job, and it's actually quite different from what you know I'm used to because at my old place where I used to work, I was there at the very beginning, so, you know, when I started, nobody knew how to, how to take care of the job, and so I was better able to judge how quickly and how efficiently I was able to learn that job and things like that based on that, you know, based on how others were learning. But here, I'm kind of, you know, put in a position that everybody around me knows a ton more than I do. And so it's hard to judge how quickly or how slowly I am learning. And so, but you know, God bless me with that job. So I'm very thankful to Him for that. And I'm just eager, most of all, to see just why God opened the door for me to go there. Because I, they don't realize that I actually applied, I think, three different times in the past for various positions and everything. And then all of a sudden, you know, this one door opened, and within a week, they were like, oh, hey, can, can you start working here? Let's go ahead and go through the paperwork and everything. And so it's like, it was not by my attempts, because when I attempted to work there, it failed. So, and then all of a sudden, God just opened the door, and there I am. But uh, it's very interesting. Uh, the people there, they're pretty much helping me out a lot with... Uh, you know, learning and getting things ready, you know, and trying to help me to get to where I don't, you know, that I can do the job efficiently. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's been taking up a lot of time, uh, recently for, I think it's three, I think I, I was on my third, you know, Monday will be the third or the fourth week that I was at that job, I can't remember. Time just flies by for me. I, all my days go together like crazy. But uh, hopefully, you know, I can... Yes, okay, hello there. <laughs> my puppy. Uh, but hopefully I can, you know, organize my time a lot better so that after, when I get home, 
I can do these videos for you guys and uh, just, you know, enjoy interacting with you guys and gals out there. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the Lord has really been opening doors for ministry and everything. Uh, there's... Uh, I can't think of the right uh, word. But there's a lot of, you know, revival going on that down in southern Louisiana where, you know, God is really setting up a change to where the promises that have been promised and the visions that have been shown in, you know, the past decades even, it's like coming to fruition. It's starting to happen. And so we're really seeing that. And I just ask that you guys and gals out there, all of you just pray for the people down here that, you know, this stronghold, this strong, you know, grip that the devil has on the people in this area, you know, a rebellion and just, you know, that they're so eager to believe a lie rather than the truth and they run with a lie that, you know, the Lord just breaks through that and their hearts are open to the truth and not just open to the truth, but that they become eager to run after the truth instead of the lie. And so, you know, really need to, uh, your prayers for that and for the people there. And because the way that God has, has it that, you know, revival, it's not so much as this quick flame, but it's a, like a fire that spreads to others and it continues to spread and it continues to spread and it does not die out that's the problem with a lot of people who have revivals is that they you know they have a revival at church then they go home and they lose the fire for God we can't have that happen and once the week or whatever of a revival is over it's like people are just they just go right back to how they used to be that's not a revival that is just regular blahness, and we can't have that. We need a passion for the Lord, and so we really need to pray that you know God is able to move the people, and <coughs> sorry, and also pray for the ministers and those that God sets to teach the Word of God, that they teach only the Word of God. We can't have any even sliver of man's teachings otherwise it fails it just corrupts it and you can't have a somebody really fall in love with God and be on fire and passionate for him if they're based on you know man's words and if you hear a dog in the background that's my dog chewing on himself and scratching and panting Yes. No, I don't want you to come over here and start pushing up against me. Alright. But, um... I can't think of much of an update. I mean, a ton has happened since I've done any of these videos. And yet, I can't really think of something to say. Because I could be here for hours. But my focus is I'm really, really wanting to get back to the Bible study videos and the devotionals and things like that and keeping it simple too because that was my purpose from the start that I keep things simple and I can't go getting elaborate and all that stuff I even thought about doing a green screen in the background I can't go doing all that stuff because it only complicates matters and makes things a lot worse but pray for me please that you know the Lord really helps me to keep up with these things and uh, just that he guides me and teaches me because unless the Lord teaches and guides there's really nothing I mean no good can come from it right right glad you guys agree <laughs> uh, but that's I think that's about it you know uh, let's see I would like to get better equipment for these videos I was thinking of you know if God 
provides the ability for me to get a second camera that I can go ahead and do a lot better and a better camera actually one that I can use a microphone with because I don't think you guys can hear me that well sometimes because this doesn't have a microphone input uh, but that would be excellent right there that I could go ahead and have better audio for you guys so that I don't have to yell and you don't you also don't hear all sorts of background music or background noise uh, that is not supposed to be in the video all right but I guess I will see you guys later hopefully sooner than later okay until then God continue to bless you I know he does and I pray that you really see how blessed you are and I hope and pray that you stay in the Word of God on a daily basis studying opening up the Bible and reading yourselves and studying and not complicating the Word of God just just enjoying his word and learning from him not overly complicating matters and saying oh oh I, I, I don't I don't understand this verse let me get into the Greek and the Hebrew let me let me read like 20 million different people's opinions on this thing no just take the Word of God pray that the Holy Spirit reveals what he's saying what the Father is saying and go from there okay don't overly complicate the truth because God's Word is not complicated all right fishermen were the ones that he were called correct he didn't call rogue scholars and he didn't call all the wise and everything like that no not many wise have been called but it's the foolish the fools the ones that the world thinks are stupid because God is able to show shine through much better through those you know we don't know things but don't complicate the Word of God that's my that's what I would like to tell you right today all right keep things simple the Word of God is simple just pray for the proper understanding and seek his face daily all right and keep the rest of the body of Christ in your prayers as well and I'll see you guys later okay till next time behave yourselves bye